all of chapter 3's secrets are finally revealed. And starting with the most important one of all, it turns out hidden details began to pop up about Huggy Wuggy's involvement in future games, with the possibility that he isn't actually dead after all. While Poppy herself in-game confirms that the real Huggy is gone for good, the situation gets more complicated following the other new information we were given by the developers behind the game. You see, after this strange situation, situation with Huggy that popped up in chapter 3, some of the members in the official Poppy Playtime Discord server asked for more clarification into what we'd be expecting down the line with Huggy's character more definitively, as there were still a few additional details left behind in the game to suggest their story with him could potentially not be over after all. The Discord member asks one of the developers, if Huggy himself is really dead after all, to which, instead of being able to straight up confirm the loss of the character, like what we saw with Poppy's voice line in game, we get a different answer. I don't know. And while Mob Entertainment themselves responded to this message in an official post telling us that the developer's strange reply was meant to be another way of saying they aren't allowed to speak on it, it still adds to the confusion surrounding what actually happened to Huggy behind the scenes. In digging even further for answers, theorists have been able to reveal new secrets hidden within the game that all come together to tell us what we could really be expecting with Huggy's character based on everything we know. Essentially, if Big Boy Hugmeister is really dead or not. Our post starts by proving the lack of evidence for Huggy being killed and taken by the prototype itself, as the crime scene from the fall back in Chapter 2 doesn't indicate in any way that Huggy was dragged anywhere by the claw. The more obvious answer is the lack of a visual of his body zero sign of the prototype dragging him other than that blue fur, but again, why have it hidden when we see Mobby get dragged away later in Chapter 2? Pointing to the fact that in comparison to the straightforward death of Mommy Longlegs, Huggy is still left as more of a mystery even in Chapter 3. Our evidence for Huggy making a future comeback continues by disproving the idea that Poppy knows about Huggy's death in the first place. We have zero knowledge of how Poppy would really know if Huggy is dead. As you have to remember, this little liar was literally locked in her case in Chapter 1 during the time of Huggy's great fall in the first place. How would she just so happen to know the specifics for a death that she wasn't even there to witness at all? Even in the case of Chapter 3 itself, we've already been teased with a Huggy Wuggy return on two separate occasions with Kissy Missy. Once behind the locked gate in Chapter 2, where she appears at first as a dark, huggy-shaped silhouette before coming into the light, and the other being her attack in front of the orphanage in Chapter 3. Why did they decide to make her look blue here? And finally, in terms of the clues left behind for Huggy making a future reappearance, despite what we're told by Poppy, we also know that story-wise, the dev team still have missed opportunities left with the character. We have yet to see Huggy interact with Kissy Missy, for example. Huggy himself is literally the face of the whole franchise, so if Mob Entertainment were to bring back anyone in a future project, all signs point to Huggy making the unexpected comeback we've all been waiting for. And it turns out additional mysteries for Chapter 3 ended up popping up with one of the most important behind the scenes secrets. For starters, a completely new area of the play care that we never ended up actually getting to play through. While exploring the behind the scenes zones, we were able to find this strange new area, never before seen in game, that actually was hiding an interesting secret players weren't supposed to know about. The fact that there was a whole new ride, we're still able to go on in one of these hidden areas in the game files. While we aren't able to get into this ride normally while playing in Chapter 3, hacking into the game allows you to be able to operate the duck water ride normally, meaning we were supposed to be able to head through this section of the play care as part of the game before it was likely cut behind the scenes for some reason. All the levers work as normal and the ride itself leads you to the same dungeon area where we encounter Dog Day, meaning it was likely the original route to get over to the area before, strangely enough, 
being removed from the game entirely. Chapter 3's secrets continue with the biggest reveal about one of the main characters of the game as Mob Entertainment themselves hit a dark secret about Dog Day that most players actually missed. Specifically, a bit of an easter egg found within the original Smiling Critters VHS video that connects into the later secrets we managed to uncover within Chapter 3's actual game. You see the fact Dog Day appears chained up, missing his lower half when we finally encounter him in the play care, was actually revealed secretly way back in November along with the original cartoon video. A theorist put together the idea for us, including, let's talk about the crazy foreshadowing with Dog Day's character, where in the end frame of the Smiling Critters VHS, Catnap and Dog Day were the only ones up on the sofa. They were meant to be the only remaining critters alive within Chapter 3, symbolized by their placement up on the couch. Also, Dog Day's lower half was covered by the blanket in the video, with his hands additionally sprawled out, exactly like how we saw him within the main game. Mob Entertainment had essentially revealed the whole thing early with this video, with nobody having a single clue. We just so happened to find out Dog Day's lower half was missing when we encountered him in game, just like the VHS itself. But as for the most important hidden secret within Chapter 3, it turns out the prototype was also fully revealed secretly throughout the game. You see, the main mystery behind this strange claw-like figure in the first place was actually solved by the game developers who decided to go in and leave a little secret detail in the dream portion of the game in Sweet Home. You see, while winding down the long corridors to get to Catnap, a radio is triggered that ends up telling us about a very specific story. A news report of a kid found gone that was missing bones. And what do you know, enter in our prototype claw friend, it just so happens to have the same exact human bones described in this news report. Likely a sort of revealed backstory that we never got to hear for the character. The lab reports behind the prototype additionally note that the prototype is an extremely smart entity, and going back to our story here, it turns out the same exact case with the missing kid described by the radio also told us that there was no clues left behind after analyzing the crime scene. All things consistent with what we know about the prototype in the first place, telling us that this was likely the origin story we were all waiting for. And it turns out following all of our in-game secrets, an even bigger one is uncovered throughout the behind the scenes of the game. In terms of Kissy Missy's strange scene in the chapter 3 ending, we're left not knowing exactly what happened. But hacking into the game cameras is what finally lets us uncover what actually happened to Kissy off camera. The biggest mystery laid out in this third chapter that's meant to connect to what we'll actually be seeing in the next Poppy Playtime game. While the CEO of the company gave us a little more insight into this mysterious ending, telling us we were expecting some big twist with the characters involved in Chapter 3 that's also meant to encourage an emotional response from players in some way, more goes into what we're told to finally reveal the truth. So I'm able to fully put together this truth for you in this video right here. For what we're told on the situation, make sure to check it out.